We're nine days out from Tampa. The back workout I'm going to take us through today is the exact back workout I've done for the last probably five back workouts. I, I've come up with what I would consider the perfect back workout for me. Lat development has gone through the roof over the last few months. It's really, really improved. Uh, pay attention, guys and girls. This is a good back workout, I promise you. <laughs> all in all, today that was a, that was a marvellous session. Much more um, on the money than anticipated. Session's always on the money, but there's on the money and there's on the money. And uh, today we've, uh, we've definitely done ourselves proud. So today was obviously back workout, second to last back workout before Tampa, nine days out. It's kind of like the last session where you go balls to the wall 100%, and uh, we went 100%. Good variety of movements today. Um, as you can remember, we went through some uh, straight arm pull downs. Gonna have to improvise a little bit today. Uh, one of my favorite machines that I would use typically next is out of order, which is a low row. So we'll come up with another variation. What I want to follow this exercise up with is something that hits my lats extremely low down. So as long as I can find something that I can keep my hands low, elbow tight and drive right through, I'll be able to get what I want out of movement. There's plenty of alternatives. Where there's a will, there's a way. A dumbbell row variation and try and uh, emulate the same tension that I would get from that machine. So let's head over and do some uh, strict, strict dumbbell rows. Uh, what we're trying to do here, we're trying to keep the tension on the lats. So I'm going to keep my supporting leg on the same side as my movement arm. Therefore, I can't get a lot of twist in the, in the waist, which will force my lat to recruit more. Obviously, if I'm like this and I can twist, it's not my lats recruiting. That's my spine twisting. So we want to force the spine to stay quite stiff. So if this leg's here, I can only twist so much from the spine, therefore recruit a lot more lap. We did some uh, dumbbell rows. We did the uh, variation of the iso lever pull down with the bands. Some stretched seated rows for both a kind of pull down and row variation. We did a, a dual attachment um, pull down. So we did the uh, wide grip and also the neutral grip pull down. Then we did some rest pause on the uh, sister T-bar row with a low grip to try and hit the lower lats. And then what I like to always finish on back is our um, hyper extensions. 36 degrees today in England. We're not used to this. <laughs> it's pretty hot. Pretty hot. Trying to think like how you would have abdominal crunches. You want to kind of like round that back off and really crunch it. And then our uh, Tom Platts style uh, scapular retraction with a stretch after. Some variations have to be made today because one machine being out of use, but that's fine, we did what we had to do. This would be working weight. Two, two sets on here, eight to 12, eight to 10. All in all, just feeling great. You know, we've got nine days left. A few more sessions to really kind of, in my opinion, still maximize um, the potential for some muscle growth. I know many people think you can't grow this close to a show, but I believe that we can. Um, I believe it's only probably the last couple of days for a show where you can't grow. So I train to grow all the way up to the show pretty much. And uh, strength's holding pretty well which is a good indication of muscle tissue being present. You know, if you get close to a show and you're feeling weak, sometimes there's need for concern because uh, overly, an overview of that is muscle is strength. And if you're losing muscle, then strength does diminish. So yeah, feeling great. Tomorrow will be a rest day, um, which I'm really looking forward to and I know this deserve. Get a few chores done other than bodybuilding stuff. Um, get a lot of sleep in as well. Sleep's really important. And, uh, then we'll be back out here on Saturday. Uh, I won't probably be hitting legs again now until the show. Um, if anything, perhaps just a flush on some extensions and hamstring curls. Go till, go till you can't go. 
You can't leave the gym knowing that there was a few reps that were still good enough and you could have obtained them. Because if you do that, you'll only sit at home and you'll stew on it. And if come show day, you don't look as good as you wanted to, you'll think maybe it was those reps. Maybe it was those reps. So go to you can't. And if it means having longer rest periods, fuck it, so be it. You've got a tick list for the day. You be in that gym as long as you need to be in there to get the job done. That's why I don't rush. Because uh, if I left here, having had rush, running on other people's time, that ain't me doing it for myself. And bodybuilding, results, progress, you've got to put yourself first sometimes, especially in the gym environment. I also leave a plate loaded pull down, but I'm doing it from this angle. So I get a little bit more upper back. Um, it's really helped with my like, front double bicep pose, just popping the lats forward a little bit more. I'll use a band as well, because it loses a little bit of tension at the top of the movement. It's a fucking hard movement, but I'll show you anyway. And then typically, again, two sets, probably two working sets. But my last proper leg session was on uh, Saturday because what I noticed at the last show is that the separation wasn't as apparent as they normally are, which means for me personally, they hadn't recovered. So I'm being tactical with this one. And yeah, so weight this morning, 258. So I'm lighter than I was going into the uh, previous show, which hopefully will reflect in condition. And um, yeah, feeling, feeling really positive. And I'm glad that you guys came along for the ride today. Um, any questions, guys, obviously you can just hit me up below and um, I'll be happy to answer. A drop set after the, after the second one. But I'll just do straight sets today. Seeing as that we've got one more back workout before the um, show, I'll try and um, have a little bit more volume in today's workout because I've got the energy to do it. Mm. All right. seated rows. So when you're not in a fixed position, you're going to stretch all the way forward, open the lats right up, then uh, contract your erectors, lift your chest and contract your lats. So real full range of motion, open and close. Love this movement. This row variation, and then we're going to move over to the lat pull down. I do two variations in there, two sets of each: uh, wide grip, conventional, and a neutral grip pull down. Uh, two sets of around 15 for each. I found that's really helpful as well. At that point, after I've done so much rowing, it's good to get into a pull down just to save save some of them rowing muscles, man. And then from there, typically hit a second row 
and then we move on to uh, some uh, hyper extensions. Get the lower back. Haven't been deadlifting. Haven't felt the need for it this close to a show, if I'm honest. Thank God for carbs. That's a big pirate. That's a giant pirate right there. Now. Regardless of anything, you know, when it comes to Tampa, one thing I will be able to say is that I definitely trained hard enough for it. And uh, I can stand there confidently wherever I place, knowing that when I was in here, I left nothing. You can see I'm leaving nothing. And uh, that's all you can ask of yourself, guys. Leave nothing. T bar row. We're just gonna do one set rest pause, and that's it. And then uh, hyper extensions. So just go to failure twice over. Well, three times over. One fail, one go over. Do some lat stretching and some uh, Tom Platt style scapular retraction. I do these at the end of every back workout. You'll see. If my hands grip, they're very wet and tired. So I just literally hang 